Hey everyone, Jason here, aspiring entrepreneur and digital marketing consultant. And in this sales funnel software review, we're gonna be looking at Optimize Press 2.0 and specifically the top five reasons you might not want to use Optimize Press for your landing pages and your WordPress site. So make sure you check out the links in the description where we compared Optimize Press to other sales funnel software solutions like Lead Pages, Thrive Themes, and ClickFunnels, along with the top five reasons why you should check out Optimize Press for your WordPress blog and landing and sales pages. So let's go ahead. We're gonna be all negative in this video. Kicking things off at number five has to do with the landing page building interface itself. Way back when Optimize Press first came out, it's drag and drop interface and it's code free page building was definitely top of the line cutting edge. However, it has not really been updated since it's come out and other landing page building softwares both on and off WordPress have caught up. And just to give you a little bit of insight into what is makes Optimize Press so far behind all of these other solutions, I'll use Thrive Architect as an example. When you're editing with Thrive Architect, it literally is a what you see is what you get editor. You can change text and change images and colors right on the web page itself. And it's very easy to move elements around, add and remove elements where on Optimize Press, if you wanna edit anything, you click a little edit icon and then a light box pops up. You make the changes and then you click save and you wait for the page to reload to see the changes you've made. And as you can imagine, this can get a little cumbersome, especially when you're trying to move elements up or down, or you're trying to see how element one looks compared to element two. You'll find yourself constantly clicking and inserting and saving and waiting for those boxes to pop up and then go away so you can see your changes. Now, reason number four, Optimize Press might not be the best solution for you, is compatibility issues. Optimize Press does have a lot of compatibility issues with other themes and other plugins. Now, this is gonna be something that you'll deal with when it comes to most page builders like Optimize Press, and they have done a decent job of having a section where you can check compatibility and you can change your Optimize Press settings if they're aware and have a patch to make Optimize Press work with whatever plugin or theme that's not working. But for example, if you're using anything by Elegant Things or you're using Divi, Optimize Press is not for you. I found out the hard way that Optimize Press, their front end builder just does not work if you're using Divi, Divi blocks it. And then Optimize Press, when you use certain features with it, can mess with Divi as well. So you wanna make sure that there's not gonna be huge compatibility issues when you're trying to use Optimize Press with whatever is already installed on your WordPress site. Now, reason number three deals with their templates and how templates are added and installed to your template library. When you install a new template and when you install the Optimize Press plugin for the first time, something that's very, very annoying is all of the media assets from those templates and the previews of those templates is added to your media asset library. Where you have things like what Thrive Themes does is it hosts all of those things off site and then it only downloads the template when you want to use it. Whereas Optimize Press, I found that when we first install the plugin and when we install new templates that we want to use from the Clubhouse membership, we find that all of a sudden we have pages upon pages of icons or images in our media library and that doesn't happen with other page drag and drop page builders like Thrive Themes. So it's just really annoying. If you're going to be using Optimize Press, make sure that you install and download everything at once. So that way when you're going through your media asset library and you're trying to add an image to your page, you're not scrolling through page after page after page trying to find the one image you want amid all of the Optimize Press web assets that were automatically added. And by the way, you can't delete them because if you delete them, it's going to mess up the templates. And as you can see here from my backend dashboard, a lot of the templates don't even show previews anymore because we went through and just deleted them because they were so annoying. And reason number two has to do with more WordPress itself, but we're including it here because it is something you need to keep in mind using any sort of WordPress theme, and that has to do with page speed. Unless you're paying for premium hosting or you're using a content delivery network, out of the box, Optimize Press is going to be slower than things like Instapage, ClickFunnels, and Lead Pages. And that's simply WordPress hosting versus those software as a service solutions that have optimized their servers and have ensured that their pages load faster. There are some technical things you can bring Optimize Press up to par, but out of the box, Optimize Press is going to be slower. So just know that it's going to be slower than those hosted solutions. That's true pretty much across the board with WordPress, but there are some advanced technical things you can bring them to the same speed. 
And that brings me to reason number one, Optimize Press might not be the best WordPress theme and landing page builder for you. And that has to do with the stale template library. When Optimize Press first came out, they were pretty good about continuing to update the template library and provide new templates. However, recently what they've done is they've gone to a membership model where you purchase the Optimize Press theme, you get your 30 so odd templates, and that's pretty much it, unless you pay for the monthly Clubhouse membership. And this Clubhouse membership is comparable to what you pay on an annual basis for Thrive Themes. So if you're looking at it, comparing the two, Thrive Themes is a monthly subscription as well, technically. So the pricing actually comes out about the same after the upfront cost of purchasing the Optimize Press theme. And so here's a quick little slide that kind of shows you the breakdown of how this pricing plays out. And I'm comparing it to Thrive Themes because that's the most popular alternative. So with Optimize Press, you're gonna pay $97 or $197 upfront, and then you'll pay $40 a year to essentially have continued support. Now with the stale template library problem, it's that you have to either go to the marketplace to purchase more templates, or you're going to be paying a monthly fee to the Clubhouse membership so you can have access to those new templates and some of their advanced plugins. And that fee is comparable to the 200 some odd dollars a year you're gonna be paying for the full Thrive Themes membership. So that does it for the top five reasons. Optimize Press might not be the best solution for you, but I'm curious what your thoughts are on these top five and if you have anything to add to this list. Go ahead and comment below because your insights and experiences will help everybody else figure out if Optimize Press is or isn't the right solution for them. So if you got some value out of this video, go ahead and hit that like button and then subscribe because over on my channel, I'm documenting the entire process of what it takes to build a online business from scratch. And of course, figuring out your WordPress theme and figuring out what software to use for your landing pages and sales pages is just one small piece of that bigger picture of what it takes to be successful with your online business. So go ahead, comment below if you have any questions or an experience to share with the rest of us and go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe. And as always, keep building the business you love. Take care.